What is going on guys? This is the Brent House and today I have the CR Scan Lizard. Guys, I'm doing a full unboxing and apparently the cat is joining. Anyway guys, we're not going to waste time. Let's get right into it. Alright guys, so first the cat, she's going to be helping. She's going to be my assistant today. Um, just kidding. Just kidding. Anyway, guys, so for real, so I ordered this, or I backed it. I did not order it. I backed it on Kickstarter. But <laughs> there's always the chance, which is why you should never, ever put money into a Kickstarter you cannot afford to set on fire. Uh, guys, you can see my pledge right here. And the scanner also came with a beanie. Um, we're not doing an unboxing of this. I wish I didn't get it. I think it was a waste of money. Uh, anyway, guys, let's get right into it. So uh, the box just says CR Scan Lizard Creality. Got a picture of it uh, on one side. It's just got at home. It's got some uh, some some ideas for you to scan things. Uh, pretty basic packaging. Doesn't feel like it's or sound like it's packaged very well. Uh, but anyway, we will get right into it. It looks like you can open it without a knife. So I have a knife. Don't think I need it. Um, we will see what is inside. So, yeah, so this scanner is supposed to be, uh, really good in, uh, bright sunlight. It's supposed to be good for black objects. The cat is back. You are not the star of the show, even though you're really cute. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, this tape is really bothering me. Um, so yeah, it's supposed to be really good in, uh, bright sunlight and dark objects. Uh, and... I don't know. They had a huge fiasco on Kickstarter, guys. I'm sure you're aware. Uh, and what happened was uh, this actually wasn't even shipped through the original Kickstarter platform. Uh, they requested extra money in the end, uh, and I had to send it to them privately. Uh, but so this actually looks like it sustained some damage uh, in the shipping process. I hope the scanner's okay. We have a scanner here. We will set this aside. You really want to be part of this video, don't you? So in here we've got a USB drive and it looks like we have a quick start guide. We have a random silicone cover. This was one of the, uh, one of the stretch goals. Uh, okay, we have a second silicone cover or whatever. What is this? This is a power block. It looks like it's good for multiple different countries and yes, they shipped us every country's power plug. What a waste of money. I won't need any of them, but the American one or the North American one or whatever this thing is. All right. So uh, also in here we have the, uh, so this is what connects to the actual unit. You've got, uh, the supplies power and uh, computer USB this way you can actually get the scanning and power separately um, and that's about it so let's push all of this aside and see the actual scanner now guys this is incredibly weighty uh, it feels soft plastic on the outside but it is incredibly weighty now uh, we've got a 3.5 millimeter uh, tripod adapter on the bottom and we've got the, uh, what is it, aerospace grade aluminum connector. Uh, let's see, how does this even work? I have absolutely no idea. Uh, does it just push right in? Feels actually pretty sturdy. Uh, so the reason we've got this like high quality connector is because as you're scanning it, potentially uh, with your hand, if the cord gets tugged on, uh, this won't just inherently get pulled out. Uh, so you have to actually uh, actuate the uh, connector in order to dis uh, disconnect it. Um, and then we've also got, I guess this maybe is a plug to screw into the bottom. This way, if you aren't using it, you can just clog. I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, let's see how well these, uh, these covers fit now. Uh, I believe you can purchase these after the fact. Uh, but you're going to have to do it through their website and it's not going to come with your package. So this package is the Kickstarter package and it was, you know, these were Kickstarter uh, stretch goals or whatever. Um, but this thing seems to fit on there actually pretty tightly. 
Um, not really sure. It doesn't protect the, le the, the, the lens in any capacity. So really the only thing this is doing is protecting the actual scanner body. Uh, but goodness gracious, this thing is difficult to get on, which means it's going to be difficult to get off. <laughs> so I'm not really sure why we have multiple colors because I'm not going to be taking this thing on and off. I might leave it on just to protect it a little bit, but it's only going to protect it from scratches, and scratches to the outer body aren't really going to be particularly uh, like bad in any way. So uh, it's just it attaches on the side. I guess there's room on one side for a fan, and then over here there's room for another fan, is my guess, along with the power adapter. And then we'll go ahead and open this just to, you know, complete everything. So in here, we've got the USB drive. This is an eight gigabyte drive. This feels very flimsy. I have absolutely no idea how good it is. Doesn't say if it's a, you know, anything about it. Uh, USB one or two or three. And it's a, I have no idea. Um, so we've got a sleeve installation guide. Oh, apparently I installed the sleeve wrong because they wanted me to fold it anyway. Uh, let's see what this is. This is just, I guess, a packing list and, uh, it tells you how to download the software, how to connect everything together. It tells, uh, I don't know. Pretty much, uh, basically it has a QR code so you can download CR Studio. Uh, this way you can get that on your computer and actually do all the scanning. And uh, that's probably gonna be the only useful thing about this quick start guide. Um, but anyway, guys, I am not gonna bore you guys. I just wanted to make a really quick video of the unboxing so you guys would have a general idea of what to expect. Uh, this, again, is the Kickstarter package. So if you order from Crowley's website, you might get something a little bit different. Uh, but overall, uh, this is what you should expect. All right, guys, and one more thing before I go, I also have the RevoPoint Pop 2. This was also a Kickstarter item. It was about two or three months ago. Uh, you can check out my unboxing video here. Um, but guys, I do plan to do a full review uh, on both of these scanners. I want to do a full comparison. So if you guys are interested in that, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Uh, wait for all of the videos to come out. But uh, once again, the review or the, um, sorry, the unboxing video for the Plop 2 is already uploaded. Uh, so uh, give me, you know, just a couple months until after this is out. And I will have a full comparison between these two scanners. <laughs> anyway, guys, that is all I have for you today. Please drop me a like and subscribe if you liked the video. I have a lot more content coming. Anyway, guys, I will see you in the next one. See ya. I don't know why I did that. I always do that, but I'm really far away from the camera. See you guys.